Kokanee salmon are enjoying a surge in popularity with Wyoming anglers these days. So to meet angler demand each year, there's a process involving three different Wyoming Game and Fish Department fish facilities. That process starts with spawning broodstock at Tillet Hatchery in northern Wyoming, where, after two years, it's proving to be a reliable source of kokanee eggs. It's one of the few facilities in the U.S. with a breeding population of kokanee. 1.8 million kokanee eggs were sent to the second step in the process, Story Fish Hatchery near Buffalo. That's where the eggs were eyed up, where the eyes of the fish become visible in the embryo. Then the final step, Dan Spee's Hatchery in Casper, where they are now, to grow them up. It's all about ensuring that those who want to pursue kokanee in Wyoming have more opportunity. Guy Campbell is the department's fish culture supervisor. Flaming Gorge and Fontenelle Reservoir always have had this historic, really good kokanee fishery, but now we have some new waters. Alcova has now started to emerge as a big kokanee fishery. Pathfinder has now emerged with some very large kokanee. And then here recently, we stocked some kokanee in DeSmit. And this last fall, there was some really nice kokanee being taken from there. And more waters could see kokanee stocked in the future. The entire process is tied to statewide fish stocking schedules developed two or more years in advance. As fisheries biologists determine the species, size, and number of fish that they want to stock in specific waters, the state's hatcheries begin planning for production to make sure they have mature brood stock, can spawn the number of eggs needed, then get them to rearing facilities in enough time to grow them into fingerling or catchable-sized fish before stocking in Wyoming. And as it turns out, help out other states too. We were able to actually help our friends to the south down in Colorado where they had not so good a year kokanee and we were able to send them down about six to seven hundred thousand eggs and then we also sent uh, eggs this year over to South Dakota so, so they can jump start some kokanee fisheries. In the past fish culturists spawned kokanee from the wild but egg production was inconsistent and the department's broodstock program is enabling game and fish to provide a more consistent source of eggs for rearing and stocking. That should make kokanee anglers happy, as well as those who have yet to experience the enjoyment of catching one in the future. This is Ray Hageman with the Wyoming Game and Fish Department.